In Act 1, Scene 2, we get our first description of Macbeth. It comes from a wounded sergeant returning from a battle. The sergeant tells King Duncan about the key role played by brave Macbeth in saving his kingdom. What bloody man is that? Hail, brave friend! Say to the king thy knowledge of the broil as thou didst leave it. Doubtful it stood. The merciless MacDonald led his rebellion from the Western Isles, and fortune on his damned quarrel smiled. But brave Macbeth... Well, he deserves that name. ...carved out a passage till he faced the slave, and nurse shook hands, no bad farewell for him, till he unseamed them from the nave to the chop. <laughs> <laughs> Valiant cousin, worthy gentleman. Upon this chance, did the Norwegian king with furbished arms and new supplies of men begin a fresh assault. This made not this our captains, Macbeth and Banquo. <laughs> yes, as sparrows eagles or the hare the lion. <laughs> so well thy words become thee as thy wounds. They smack of honor both. Go get him, surgeon. Then Ross arrives with news of another unlikely victory against the King of Norway, who has been helped by the Thane of Cawdor. Duncan announces that Cawdor will be executed and his place will be taken by brave Macbeth. My worthy Thane, Norway himself, with terrible numbers, Assisted by this most disloyal traitor, the Thane of Cawdor, began a dismal conflict till a Bologna's bridegroom, bold Macbeth, confronts the king, rebellious arm against arm, curbing his lavish spirit. And to conclude, the victory fell on us. Great happiness! No more that Thane of Cawdor shall deceive our bosom interests. Go, pronounce his present death. And with his former title, Macbeth. 